time to bring up the new contract for our engineers. Right? The contract that they had, and I gave all of you a copy of this because they just sent down um, essentially where it was last year, which I think they put in here 40000 And the reason I wanted you all to look at it is because if you notice on the... Um, whatever page this is, I guess the third to the last page here, they actually broke out, and Herb, you might put some light on this, they actually broke out the time that they either historically have spent or anticipated <coughs> thing, um, and they break it all down here. Um, right now, we've got $20,000 in the budget. So I guess that being taken into consideration, um, if we decide to go with Bartonwood Jews and put in the twenty thousand, um, we probably should look at where that comes out, because they listed planning board, town board, highway, sewer department, um, and then their expenses, total budget. So I leave it to you, John. Well, do they attend ten planning board meetings? Uh, I don't think so. Heather, I don't think they've been at 10, do you? When their meetings Chris are has called, been oh, maybe wait, two last, or last year probably four or five. Yeah. We haven't had much going on. Max. <coughs> but, your, but he attends, well, he attends, he attends the, staff the, the staff meeting meetings. that <laughs> we have uh, before every planning board meeting with Joe and Rick and myself and Ellis. So, so that's probably included. Right, Joe? Does he attend every one? I think that's what he's referring to as planning board meetings. The staff meetings. Yes. Well, that plus any time he shows up at a planning board. Yeah. So, um, I remember last year I brought up, actually, we were, I think you heard you said you were going to look into, that when they come to a planning board meeting, we're already charging the developer. We do. Or, right. Yeah. So at that point, they already got a job, a task. Well, no. They, but when we have the staff meeting, Paul, we we're just that. we haven't the, we're just reviewing <coughs> the uh, agenda for the upcoming meeting and whether we have everything or not. At that point, they haven't signed any contract with the proposed developer to serve as our engineer. So we just have a staff meeting, right. and he's there as our engineer, <laughs> so that Joe and Rick and Ellis and I can all talk to him to see what engineering issues he may see on various items that may or may not be on the agenda. So those are not allocated to a developer. That's what he's done. That's why it's 3250. It's 10 meetings at 325 a meeting. That's my guess. Now, usually when he comes to the planning board meeting, we have a specific application in front of us, and that person is signed, like with JK or whatever, it's signed a contract to pay him to serve as our attorney. That's why our a lot engineer. of as our engineer. Right. That's why a lot of those are not included here. Okay. So if he's already doing that, so when does it come into play? Like what would be an example? Because I guess I don't know how if he's well, already paying for that situation. We had a meeting, for example, last week right. and we were talking about Hartford luxury apartments, whether or not their application was complete and they provided us with sufficient information to be scheduled at the next meeting. So at that point, he's looking at the documentation. We had another development that came in with uh, a preliminary plan, and he looked at it and said, well, you're going to need to do this, they need to address that. So he comes in very early on on these projects. But at, at, so at that point, just, just quick, quick, quick. Yeah. At, at that point, if he's helping someone else with their with their... You know. He's helping us. Do you agree, Joe? Yes. We, we rely on him to look at the application, let us know whether he right. feels it's complete, whether or not he feels that they've adequately addressed stormwater issues and such. Yeah, until the project is finalized, he doesn't know how much to allow for the project. For it to build. Project. Right, but at the point that they come in and they start to go forward, then that's the point where he contracts as our engineer with the developer, and they pay him for his time and his Correct. services to review their engineer's plan Correct. and verify its accuracy and correctness. Right. So this is like even before we get to that point. That's why he comes in. 
But in the two examples you cited, it appears that there's an overlap between the town board meetings administration and technical advisor at 144 <coughs> and highway sewer department drainage sewer and highway. Uh, there, there's an overlap there, at least in my mind. I think what he's talking about there is if, if let's take highway and sewer. I mean, if, if we call them up and there's times when we ask them, I agree. We got a stormwater problem here. What do you do? Well, that's not that's not somebody that we can bill out. Mm -hmm. But that's different than going to the planning board. That's not a planning board issue, it's a highway sewer. Yes, yeah, so and I, I agree with that. Uh, again, it just seems like there's an overlap here. Town board meetings, administration, and management technical advisor. These are technical advisor on all of these things. Correct, but some are attributable to specific to contract, projects right, that are from the planning board, and we offset those by the developer contracting and paying for our engineer to review their engineer's work. But we may have an issue that the town board is concerned with, with flooding of Mud Creek right, or that's something like that. We, we bring them in separately uh, where there is no project. Rick, highway sewer department, drainage sewer, is that doing consulting services for you? For me, he's been working on that project off of Pleasant Street that we talked about the other day. The only reason I bring it up, gentlemen, is because, I mean, it's the additional point. Well, either we go additional 20, or if we keep it at 20, we've got to let Rick know, we've got to let Ellis D'Elia know, we've got to let ourselves know that, you know, this budget has been reduced. I just think it was discussed last time. We were yeah. To bring from going, you know what I mean, like have, have the restraints pulled on that, you know, or the, right. pull, the, you know, pull the reins back. So that it's not just a call and then he comes and then it's, a, you know, charge. I thought we were supposed to... That's the way it was in the beginning when they first got here. So and then it just got seemed like it just got. Well, we stopped it. They thought, you know, a lot of people thought it was cumbersome, but at the beginning, everything had to go through the supervisor's office. Oh, with the planning board situation again, getting back to that. So, because I've been to other planning boards, and what you do is you pay a fee up front for your 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 yeah, projects, I do. Mm -hmm. right? So at that fee. That's their pay, whatever that is. I mean, we're giving them a job, so I mean, we're giving them work that they don't have to go out and advertise for. It. Well, no, we take that money. We have we, we take the application. We take it, okay. But well, you're right. We give them work for the developer. They review the developer's engineering work, and they do it on our behalf. We don't rely on the developer's right. engineer because he's not our guy. Well, no, they're, they're our guy. So at that point, point, the developer pays him for his review on behalf of us. Right, but other places, like so for the planning board, you pay your planning board fee, you pay your fee, mm -hmm. right, that goes to us. But you also pay for another engineer to review at that point. That's all they do. They're not, the town doesn't get charged again for well, that job. Well, we do that, but this is before that review process. Mm -hmm. No, I, I right, don't what, are they re, what are they reviewing twice, though? Yeah. It's, it's, it's well, like, what happens? It's what hap happen in my mind. Well, what happens if that project, after we go through, you go through it at the staff meeting, they say we're not going to do it? How can you build well, that well, developer for something that doesn't happen? But don't go. With, I mean, you don't have to go through it for the staff meeting. If they bring something to the board, they have to have their guy look at it. If they have an engineer ready looking at it, then it should be proper. If it's not. It's on them. I, I let me let me tell you something. <laughs> no, that's totally wrong. <laughs> but that's how it is. I can't even well, in Kirkland, let me tell you. even in Kirkland, when I did a project up there, when I went, it was well, up to my Kirkland engineer. is a whole different world. Okay. <laughs> oh, Believe me, I lived there for years. Listen, let me tell you. Yeah. We've had enough problems with engineers here in the past. So that stamp, as far as I'm concerned, with some engineers means absolutely nothing. Okay. So when you say that a developer brings his engineer in here and that it's all nice, 
No, 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 I'm not saying that, though. You got me wrong. What I'm trying to say is that Herb said that you review the stuff to make sure everything's in place right, right. before they come. Right. Before they come to the planning board. Before they come to the planning board. Right. Right. So we're reviewing the work of somebody else before... You're, the, he's reviewing the design of whatever engineer... Right. So at that point, then we should charge. If we have our guy come to review it, then we should charge at that point. Joe, the minute there's an application that's paid for, at that point, anything that's being reviewed by our engineer, that should be charged should to be the person doing it. Joe, what is, we don't charge any additional fee on the application, correct? For the no, end? our fees are very, don't cover much at all. Oh, very, very very the fee, then. Yeah. So, I agree with that. It's a good yeah. Match. Yeah, because, I mean, no, no one else does that. I mean, if you can go to City of Tampa, anywhere you go, and you go to the plane, you pay. It's just, that's it. It's, they're not well, paying. We have an application fee now, do It's minimal, though, yeah. isn't it? How much is it? Five hundred dollars for preliminary, plus two dollars of parking space, plus a uh, hundred. What if they only bring one car? Excuse what me. If they all come in one car. It's a carpool. And then two hundred and fifty dollars for the. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, not, it's not cheap. Yeah, and I mean, no disrespect to no, anybody, but it's you know, for him to come have a meeting and charge us every time, and just you know, if they just come have a meeting and they have two things to say, I mean, you know, we're, we're paying a full shot. I just don't think it's justified. So, yeah, but these could be a couple of thousand dollars on these fees, couldn't they? Uh, they get up there, yeah. It depends on the project. How much more are you going to charge them? I mean, you were complaining about what we were charging electricians you wanted but to I'm cut saying if, you need, if they need a review, so say right now, okay, I'm, I'm doing a plan. I come in, I get my building permit, or I get my planning board permit, or your required application. application, correct, sorry. So I get that application, all right, at this point. I have an engineer now that's going to put my stuff together. I'm paying my engineer, my engineer. Right, right. <laughs> so now you're saying, you want to pay Barnum and Judas to review to make sure he has everything he wants, but he's already Not everything that we require. We want right, but when he comes to the meeting, he he has he has a brochure. It tells him what your requirements are. Right, but his engineers, engineers already reviewed we're, that. Our board, we're not engineers. Joe's not an engineer. Usually, you like mm -hmm. an engineer's review as to what the other engineer was proposing. We've had a lot of situations where the board relied upon the engineer that the developer brought forward and when we got our engineer involved or somewhere down the road when we had substantial problems we then had to hire an engineer and correct the problems that existed. That's, I know Heather wanted to. I just, I, I, I a lot of wait, wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on a second Heather. Okay, call on me. Call me. Can I? Say yeah, no, I, I, go ahead. So, so that's where the fee kicks in, though. Right. So the fee, when it starts reviewing, that's when that's when it's charged to the client. Right. Not that we're going to pay for a meeting with you guys, and then they're going to charge the client again. They should have one flat fee and say... Yeah, but I think you're missing the point. Here. Right. This is for our benefit. Mm -hmm. So that when it gets to the planning board, this person has everything in order. They go down between Joe and her <clears throat> and the engineer, and they go, okay, you got this... No, you're missing this... Before you come to the planning board, bring this. That's what it's for. It's an administrative yeah, but, type thing. But their their engineer should be the administrator for that because they're no, their they, no. Because in the past we've had a lot of instances where people come to the planning board. The planning board is there. They don't have everything. Now you got to come back again for another planning board meeting. Isn't this what used to happen years ago, Joe? Before you had these staff meetings, mm. you know. So now they decided, and and I think it was a good one where Ellis set up these staff meetings and said, okay, we'll go through it and make sure that everything's here. Right, so it's like going through an application so before you then? go on to the next Why step. don't we do this? We'll give, we'll give them the opportunity so if you'd like a review, a pre-review, it's going to cost you $325 well, that's fine. and you pay a pre-review. If you don't well, want it, you want to take the that's shot, what they they take pay. the that's shot. What they pay for the, the, the thing is, go ahead, John. every developer has an option to have a sketch plan conference <laughs> at two hundred and fifty dollars right. a pop. They don't want to pay the two fifty, they don't want the preliminary meeting. So then they pay the fees. You could take the if you wanted to the, the, the fees and use that to pay Barton and Lejunas because they are paying fees. Well I mean it all goes into the pot it that it comes the out of so, I mean, so they are paying for right. it. However you want to look at it. I mean, okay, if you so want to raise it, it should just be scratched out of our, our contract then if you're already paying for it. 
Well, no, I, you got it wrong. They pay us. We, in turn, use some of that money to pay Barton with Judas. It doesn't go directly to them. Right, but at the end of the day, it should be a watch. That's all I'm saying. The contractual part of it, I'm thinking, is for us. Well, Let's say we, we have a road problem. Well, if we, broke, if we broke it out in a budget like this, yeah, it probably, actually, it would probably be a little bit in excess from the fees and what they're charging us. But we don't break it out. It'd be too cumbersome because then we'd have to have all of that stuff broken out, you know, when the when they built. So for 10 meetings at $325 a $32.50. Yeah. And, and we should be able to cover that with the fees. That fee is quite a bit higher than what I just signed off on. <coughs> The fee for what, Charlie? For the meetings. The meetings are usually $250. He charges us $250 when he comes down <coughs> for the uh, board meetings? Yes, sir. All right, he's saying 10 meetings at $325. That's new then, because I've been paying, I've been signing off on $250. Okay, well, we can check with him and ask him why it's gone yeah. up. That's fine. Well, we want to make sure the fee covers whatever that line item is. Yeah, pretty much. So it's a lot, you know. Well, thirty-two fifty. It doesn't take many to, things to cover that. What would you say, Joe? Five, ten? Probably over that, right? Could be. Ten and thirty-two. Huh? Ten, ten meetings at, at his price now. I'll be honest with you. I, I really don't care what you do. I mean, I just, you know, I just all I'm saying is if you're going to cut it, let's let the departments know where you're cutting it. That's all. Yeah, I just don't want to shortchange Joe no. or Rick on her ability to call this engineer and say, I've got a problem up on Compton Road or, or Paris Road. Can you look at this and tell me what you think we need to do? And, and that's, that's what I'm worried part of this builds in. But Well, I think when we first discussed this, that was the whole thrust of it. We wanted the engineers to be able to work with right. the interested parties to uh, eliminate any. The problem is, it's gone up. What was budget last year? 40,000. 40, 40, 40, was last year 40,000? Yes. Yeah. Originally, it was 60,000. Exactly. <laughs> okay. 65. 65. It was 65. The reason they cut it down 25,000 exactly. is 40,000. 40,000 last year, right there. Yeah, because it was the same amount as last year. So we just came full circle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no. And wasted 20 minutes of our thing. This table is going to go. Let's have an engineer look at it. Huh? Let's have an engineer look at it. It's a list. It's a list. I'll fix it. I'm getting to see some of this table. I'm just going to go with that answer. We're pretty good here. Yeah. <laughs> Question, John. What do you want to do here? I say we budget for 20, we leave it at 20, and we see where we oh. go. Okay. I, it's budgeted already for 20. Right. But the question is, are we going to make a determination what we're cutting down here? Yeah. I, I, I mean, what if what if they come back and all of a sudden the planning board decides that they need $20,000 worth of work? Does that mean Rick gets nothing? No, but I don't see, again, the planning board is really, it's, it's paid by... But we've already taken that into consideration in the budget. Right. So, so if you're going to go forty thousand, we're twenty thousand short in the budget. Yeah. Right. The revenues okay. for fees are, are already factored in to the budget. So, if you're going with forty, we got as Dave said before, we got to find twenty. Okay. If you're going with twenty, then something here has got to get cut. And my only concern is. I don't care. We got budgeted at 20. I thought that was low at the time. I made my argument then. All I'm saying here is we should let, you know, these departments know right. that we've cut the budget. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Well, I don't want to shortchange the department as if we, if we err when we uh, budgeted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, reasonable to ask the department heads to take a hard look at how they're using the engineer? No, I don't, I don't see doing a problem that. at all. Well, I have a question, Pat. Go ahead. Since our fees can can cover that meeting at the staff level, is it necessary for us to take 
for that staff meeting the money out of that twenty thousand. Our fees that we collect for the planning board. Yes. What well, doesn't that pay for his engineering services? No. No. Because you got to understand with the budget, those fees we've already estimated. They're in there. The problem is <coughs> we only estimated to expend twenty thousand dollars on the engineering side. So someplace over there, it doesn't balance. Uh -huh. If we go, Heather, did you have something to say? Yeah, I own a lot of a lot of uh, towns in Westchester, and it's not just about the engineer; it's also about the legal fees. So what they do is they get a chunk of money, four or five thousand dollars up front. I know it's a little high, but you say a thousand or fifteen hundred. So when Herb goes out and spends two hours reviewing something, a certain portion of that fee comes out of that, just like the engineer, and it starts day one. Thank I you. curb caught all of that. No, but it, and that's, you know, it's, I mean, you're not going to do it for some little subdivision. But when you're talking, when it hits a certain level, we need engineering help at, at the planning board level. I mean, you're talking about Grange Hill. Had they done that 20 years ago, you wouldn't be looking at a million dollar project today. And so, you know, to, to I, cut engineering mm -hmm. fees from the planning board, I mean, we've turned down projects. We put projects off now over the past couple of years because we couldn't get an engineer to come to a meeting to talk to us or answer our questions. I agree. I mean, I, I was in favor of forty thousand to begin with, uh, but if you want to raise the fees, <coughs> raise the fees. I mean, you're going to get people squawking, but hey, you know, you know it's going to be the little guy that squawks. You know, the big guys come in there. Right. Normally, I would, in the past, <coughs> you know, I'd, I'd call you and ask, hey, can I have the engineer in for this? Well, whatever. that's what we used to do, and that that's, way we could check on the right. budget and see where we are. Exactly. It has gone away from that a little bit, but right now, as a good example, we got ordered by that judge and that attorney in Albany to do that study. So right. that, that's bills that we already will be getting. Right, and that's not the that's that we not, push off on a developer. Right. Right. Yeah, those are the types of things that you yep, need in engineering. Exactly. Would we have some room to do any budget adjustments in there? If we needed to. If we needed to do the attorneys. Since he's paid all these fees for the developers now. Well, let's see where uh, Rick's going to hire me for the highways. Yeah, he's going yeah. 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 to hire me for the highways. Yeah, I'm going to hire you. I mean, one man plow. 20,000, I think we could. Probably find at, at least at this point find twenty thousand. I mean, we got ten thousand in contingency right now, right? Or did you use that already? Yeah, because it's not saying that we're going to we're going to use forty thousand. Right. So, exactly. Yeah. I mean, if, you, 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 you sign the contract, and if you need, then you you adjust it as we go. <coughs> so we want to you know handcuff the highway department and sewer. Yeah, that's that's I, not the intent. You know. No, it wasn't. There wasn't. You know, you know, town board meetings and stuff on their 14-4. I mean, there might be some fluff in there, you know, I think. But, so I say we, so we sign it, and if we have the funds afterwards, we can figure it out. I think we're, you know, knowing where we have to be, we're within those constraints. Maybe we come in under that. Well, I'm just, why don't why don't we leave it up to Rick and Joe, and then you know, have them make the determination on ordering engineering <coughs> and all that for the plan for the you know for sewer. Where are you going to base this? <laughs> oh, well, 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 really? It's for their for their needs. I know. But I mean, for plan for town board. Where are they going to base it? They're we still have to have that. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying is. They don't always know what the budget is. I mean, that's the only reason that Rick used to come back and ask me because then I'd check the budget and see what was left in the budget. That's what that was all about. I mean, that was the only concern about checking these things out. Uh, you know, I think I don't think there's a problem with Rick determining what engineering services he needs or Joe or the planning board. I mean, it is what it is, and all Rick mentioned was the way we used to do it before is. 
call up so that we didn't go over budget on these things because it, it got to the point where they were coming in a lot, right. making a lot of trips down here, which is what a concern was here. Well, that was my only concern. You know, How much sometimes did you spend that. Last year? Uh, it wasn't forty thousand. Um, I think by the, I think at the end of the year, and I could be wrong, but I think uh, they told me they had about sixteen, ten or sixteen thousand dollars left on the, the forty thousand dollar contract. So. But we didn't do anything last year. <laughs> I mean, you know, we didn't have a lot of things going on. Some years might be more than others. Exactly. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. a couple of years ago when we had flooding, we were asking them to come down all the time. You know, last year it wasn't much yet. Well, my question is we budgeted for 20. Mm -hmm. We get a contract for 20. We sign a contract for 20. People use it accordingly. And when it runs out, okay. then we revisit it then and we say, okay, do we need another 20? Or we stick to the 20 and people just be conservative with it. I mean, that, that's how I would do it. I don't know why we did 20 and we had a contract for 40. It just don't make any sense to me. So that's my opinion. Most professional firms don't go like in quarterly contracts. You know, you like to do a year contract. Well, so you know, it helps them to budget their time and their staff by, you know, saying we've got this. A little bit easier to anticipate. Uh, I make exceptions for my customers, so maybe they should try it and see. <laughs> I don't know any professional firm that will give you a quarterly well, contract. Well, no, like I said, we budget it. But again, we're not doing a quarterly contract. We budget it for 20. They give us a year contract for 20. And if we need above and beyond services, then... And we go out and find another engineer? Oh, no, we could still go. I mean, I'm sure if they don't have the time. You know, they take these contracts. That's what I'm saying with professional firms. You take your contracts, and that's what you do with <coughs> staffing and, and all the other stuff. You know, if they say this is 20000 well, they may say, okay, we're not going to hire that junior engineer because we're not going to need him down in Hartford. Or we're going to put Chris, uh, we got a new municipality, so we're going to put Chris working over there, too. You know, so it's not like you could say, okay, we'll do it for 20, but if it comes in more, we'll give you. I mean, it's possible, but, you know, you can't always bank it, I guess. It's well, Board, it's up to you. I don't, that was my opinion. So. That's what we had before us, but if we're going to do more, then we have to figure out where the money's coming from. You know, I mean, I mean you know, cutting expenses is one thing, mm -hmm. but you know, when you start hobbling the departments, then I think you think. I mean, you know, for years the town of New Hartford hands an engineer here, and nothing against him, either one of them, okay? But we paid him a hell of a lot more than what we're paying this year. And now we're kind of starting to cut that down, and, and, and we're, you know, hobbling the, the planning board, the, the highway superintendent, the codes department for twenty thousand dollars. I mean, this is a town of Hartford, guys. You know, we shouldn't be doing this. You should bring professionals in to help your staff, not cut it down. You know, I mean, there's towns that don't have the development we have that are paying an in-house engineer more than this. You know, I, I don't understand why we try to nickel and dime where we shouldn't nickel and dime. The big stuff. We're ready to we're ready to, to approve a contract that's two and a half times more than it was twelve months ago. But yet for twenty thousand dollars, we're we're nickel and diming our departments here. Mm -hmm. And and this is not only this isn't the first case. Well, none of us want to hobble. Well, I know what you're saying, Dave. But I mean, these little things <coughs> it seems like we spend more time on than the big things. So we we erred in budgeting twenty thousand. And they finished the year with a ten or fourteen thousand dollars like surplus yeah. in what? what well, less than what the contract was. So they, and what they was probably the was forty thousand. Forty. So they probably expended twenty-five to thirty thousand. <coughs> well, again, the last thing we want to do is is uh, uh, hobble the department heads. 
So the question is, how do we get to that forty thousand or thirty-five thousand or thirty thousand, whatever makes sense? Do we want to spend the money now, or do we want to? Work well, you're not going to spend the money. It's not like we've got to write them a check. Them. Basically, what you're authorizing is forty thousand. And they didn't bill it. We and saved. They didn't bill that much. We saved ten thousand. Right. 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 Round figures. Right. Right. These are fees not to exceed. Right. Right. That's what they're quoting. Right. Okay. So I mean, when we get to that, you know, and what Paul is, mm -hmm. you know, you basically have that now because you can approve this contract, mm -hmm. and it's not to exceed. When Make a motion that, that 20, we approve this contract not to exceed forty thousand. Yeah, but how can we do that without the budget of forty thousand? Because it's 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 not to exceed. Yeah. When you get to that point, then you're, when you get to the twenty thousand, okay, you can't exceed the budget. So you twenty thousand or fifteen thousand, then it's going to come to the board, and you're going to say, hmm. you got to understand that this is not. You got to understand with professional services, this is not a contract that says we have to pay them forty thousand. I understand that. Okay, I just like any like a CPA firm or a law firm, <clears throat> this is just saying this is what we think it's going to be. It's an estimate. That's all. So when you get to the point of the budget, whether it's fifteen thousand or close to the twenty thousand, Danny's going to say, "Hey, listen, we're close to this. What are you going to do? Are you going to cut off the engineering, or we're going to increase?" So there's a motion on the floor. Motion by Dave, second. Second. Second by Jim. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous.